If you are looking to convert any text to JSON format, then have a look at this model which is called as anything to JSON. JSON has become quite popular in recent years. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation and it is a lightweight data interchange format that's easy to read and write for humans and also very easy to parse and generate for machines. It's based on subset of JavaScript syntax but is language independent with libraries available for parsing and generating JSON data in many programming languages. JSON is useful because it provides a straightforward way to serialize complex data structures like objects and arrays, making it ideal for data interchange between clients and servers in web applications. Its simplicity and efficiency in representing data have made it a popular alternative to XML and other formats for many APIs, configuration files and data storage purposes. The ease of use through which you can use this new model which is created by Banana and I have no idea what Banana is but I found their Twitter profile which looks quite interesting and uh, they are based in San Francisco and they are can be found at banana.dev so if we go to banana.dev they have some GPU selling or uh, inference hosting for AI team and that sort of stuff okay so but if you want you can visit them there but I really found out that this model is quite interesting because all you need to do is to just give it a text define your JSON schema like this and it creates the results for you now let me um, give it an access another great thing is that soon you can have an API access to I already have applied for it uh, I have joined the wait list and as soon as I get the access I will uh, give you the access now let me give an input here instead of this one my own and then I have already generated a JSON schema so let me just remove this and paste my own in this one I am just giving it a text blob where I am saying that Sophie's first attempt at gardening was an enlightening experience starting with a small patch of land in her backyard he planted tomatoes, carrots and basil with a blend of excitement and uncertainty. As days turned into weeks, she marveled at the sprouts breaking through the soil, a tangible sign of her labor and love. This venture through rife with challenges, from pests to unpredictable weather, taught her patience and the joys of nurturing life. Now, on the basis of it, I have just created this sample schema. Let me go up. I have given it this title gardening experience and objects are these three titles this 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 and then from there I have given it some sort of experience can you see it so looks pretty interesting let's see what it does you can also use a builder one like this but I have just given it from here okay and it's in particular typical JSON format and I have also done some required fields and some enums here. Okay, so let's see. Let's run it. Banana is running. Looks pretty cool while it runs. There you go. So it has created this where gardener name is Sophie and then it has just pulled all the information as per this schema from my text. If I convert here let's say I'll say uh, maybe Riley and then let's run it again can I run it I'll say yeah run it let's see if it replaces there you go so it has replaces Sophie with Riley and of course you can change all the field and it is going to replace your text with it and now let's try out another text so i'm going to remove this from here sorry let me remove it is the text for some reason i think the interface is a bit flaky but that is fine let me paste it here now in this one i'm saying maya's first solo art exhibit was a was a vivid tapestry of emotions and colors held in a local gallery her collection showcased a journey through abstract landscapes 
each piece telling a story of its own. The opening night drew a crowd larger than she had dared hope, with viewers engaging deeply with art. How cool is that? Okay. And then I have also created a JSON schema in this one. If I go at the top, so title is art exhibit and then object property artist name it this will be filled up by maya and then so on event type part pieces and all that stuff so let's run it just say yeah. let's run it let's wait for it it will take too long while it runs the thing is that large models are great for reasoning but they are an overkill for extraction tasks that is why I think they have trained a smallish LLM to restructure text into JSON. And you can see that how perfectly and it has printed it down. Artist name is fine. Title is fine. And then there are three titles in that one. And that is what we have done in our text through and through. Amazing stuff. So, and then builder is also good. I haven't played around with it, but it looks good to me. You can minus it. You can add it, subtract it, so which is quite cool. So that's it guys let me know your thoughts one more thing the output schema according to them is 100 percent guaranteed and this is just an early version of the model so they will be improving it as the time goes by and they are planning to hit sub second latency they also want to increase current 8k token limit and they also want to return null instead of hallucinations in case of missing data and of course as i mentioned soon i will get the access to api after my time is there and i will drop the link to this model in video's description and so play around with it and another important thing is that you can build a lot of applications with it and what i'm thinking is that we can integrate this model with other models so because this is a very smallish llm so for example we generate text or we uh, extract data infer data from another llms through our ai applications and then in order to uh, ingest that data for other integrations we could convert that data into json format as per our own application requirement by also providing this json schema and then it will be easier for other applications to ingest it every organization and lot, there are a lot of api specifications which require data to be in a specific json format so you we can standardize LLM's output by in any of the JSON uh, output by using this uh, by the free flowing text and then sky's the limit from there. So you can you know think uh, as much possibilities there. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already already subscribed, then please consider sharing it among your network as it helps. Thanks for watching.